Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. Let's dive in right now. All right guys, so here we are right outside the 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions so you guys be aware, just save you some time so when you arrive at your local Honda dealership, you know exactly what this vehicle has for standard features and functions. Now, you guys have any questions? Drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions I come across those. Then also, if you want some additional information, check out my how-to videos. Then I also have vehicle settings too as well. Then also, I got some point of view test drives coming out too. So let's get going. All right, so here we are right outside the vehicle. As usual, folks, let's walk up to the Moroni sticker to review that here quick. Now, you guys, welcome to pause the video right there if you want to explore on your own. Let's actually open up the door, get that glare off. Hopefully that helps. And there we go. Pause the video right there if you want to explore, all right? Now, up on the top right-hand corner, it's going to talk about your fuel economy. As you can see, you got 18 for the city, 24 for the highway with a combined of 21. Down on the right-hand corner, it talks about your safety ratings. Take a look at that. Who doesn't love that? Now, right down below where the vehicle's made at, Lincoln, Alabama. It is a U.S.-made product right there, as you guys can see. The price point and then all the cool standard features and functions, which we're gonna to try to cover today for you guys. Now, once again, this is gonna be Obsidian Blue Pearl. I'm gonna throw some additional color options you have right up there, then also there's gonna be a surplus charge for that particular color too as well. Now, you are gonna have some packages manufacturer packages i'm going to throw those right up there a little bit of information so you guys be in the know and then the price point too for those additional packages from american honda the vehicle comes standard with two key fobs all right so you step here towards the front you have all of your honda sensing features standard i'm talking about your lane keep assist adaptive cruise your forward collision road departure boom standard right there led lights all the way around that's gonna mean, of course, your headlights, fog lights, then you're gonna have your daytime running lights too as well, right there. Now we have a 3.5 V6 with a nine speed automatic transmission. I'm gonna throw a horsepower and torque up there so you guys be in the know. Now we're gonna also have body color parking sensors. You got front and rear. Here's one right there for the front. You got two in the front. They're gonna come off here towards the side for you guys. As you can see, that front end of the ridge line comes straight out, dips right down, no longer kind of comes and curves right in like the previous models from there. Now, you're going to have 18 inch alloy rims. We're going to step here towards the back, or sorry, back up a little bit. I'm going to throw some exterior measurements up there, as you guys see in the side profile of the vehicle. So at least now you're going to know how it compares to you guys' current vehicle or what's out there in the market too as well. Is it going to fit into your garage? Drop it down below in the comments. Let us know your thoughts, all right? Now, you can have some chrome action around the windows. It could be rear tinted windows. You got chrome handles right over there. You have a body color side mirror with a turning indicator right up here. Those side mirrors are going to be break away. So you just get up there, fold them in, fold them out, whatever you're going to do from there. Now, they're going to be auto dimming side mirrors too. So it's going to reduce those bright lights coming at you. We're gonna come back here to the tailgate. Now you do have an option when you hit lock on the key fob that actually lock the tailgate too. And you can actually deactivate that within your vehicle settings if you want. Now you have the dual action tailgate so it comes down to your normal traditional way to this nice flat bed. So as life happens, challenge accepted. But in the flat bed, you have those tie downs that come standard, all right? No additional charge for those tie downs. Now, the dual action tailgate, you see right here, release, grab that handle, squeeze it, comes right open, and then there we go. Opens up this way, and there's even more. You have an Entrek bed trunk right here. You can lock this if you want to. You can use this as dry storage. You can use it as a cooler. As you can see, you have a you know, plug right there. Take it out, let things out. Then you have your spare tire underneath right here. Now, if you're gonna put anything heavy up here, all right, guys, I would definitely recommend taking your spare tire out, put it in the back there, just in case if you get a flat, all right? Now, another cool thing here in the back, what do you get? You do have a plug-in.
All right, and then you're gonna have these lights back here too as well. Then we're also gonna have the embed truck audio system too. So you know what? Let's take a moment. Let's turn that on now. Boom, here we are. We got the radio on blaring now. It's not full blast yet. So if you guys have a hard time hearing me, it's because we're jamming out right now, okay? So you know what? Let's uh, turn off the music here quick to talk a little more about what's going on and how that works. Boom, there we go. Music's off now, okay? So you cannot be listening to music on the outside of the vehicle and the bed at the same time as listening on the inside, okay? It's one or the other. You're not gonna be at places that, you know, two separate places at the same time anyways. So there we go. That's nice and done with. We'll close that right up there for you guys. Now, another thing is down below, you gotta have your multi-angle rear camera. It's gonna be right here next to the handle. We're gonna have parking sensors down here. You got four parking sensors. A hitch then chrome tipped dual exhaust okay so there it is now you are gonna have some lights in it right back here it's gonna be going towards your plates too let's step right over here to the gas tank no cap right there it's a capless gas tank no longer a two dollar cap to worry about fixing replacing or anything like that it's a simple slide and go all right Now we're also going to have the smart entry system. So let's say I got the key fob. I locked all the doors now. I have it in my pocket. I walk up, put my hand in the handle, and it unlocks the door. I can choose do I want the driver's side door to unlock or all doors from that point. Then when I have the key fob with me, I can simply hit this button right there. I walk away. Now the doors are locked. I know from there. We're also going to have the walk away auto lock feature so that every time I walk away from the car, I shut it off, take the key fob, shut the door, get 10 feet away, Boom, all the doors automatically lock, and including the tailgate if I have that option enabled. All right, so that's pretty cool. You cannot accidentally lock your keys in the car. Those days are over. So if I'm like, whoops, there it goes. Hit the lock button from there. I shut the door. It senses that what I did, and it automatically has got unlocked from there. Now, as you guys can see, we clearly have leather. Let's check out the back here quick. Opens right up here. Checking out the door. You got your leather top. You got your power windows. You got a little cubby space right here. Then you have a cup holder too. You gotta make sure you guys are drinking enough liquid when we're out for the ride. Now you're gonna have the magic seats with this. So right here, this handle pops right up. As you can see, my selfie stick down below. So if I wanna hide anything that's down there, you can. There's a nice squared off area you have a tie down so if i have like a big screen tv or anything else something kind of big in a box i don't want to be jumping around you can do that both seats would come fold right up to release that all you have to do is pull this and it snaps right back in place all right you got your headrest this whole thing comes up too for a headrest you're gonna have your anchors behind each of these headrests right here cup holders a little storage armrests we have some courtesy pockets behind each front seat adjustable vents let's kind of get down here get a little motion sickness going on a couple usbs 2.5 fast charge from there now this could be stadium seats all right you know what let's jump right in there give you guys a quick little visual so i'm gonna sit higher up than my two front people up there so the driver i'm gonna look over them i can tell them hey I can see everything, all right? Now, let's get over here in the driver door. Gonna check that out. You got some additional cubby space. You got a little trays right here. We already talked about the gas release. Leather, power windows, auto for the front too. Window lock button, just in case anyone misbehaves. You lock buttons, you guys know all about that. Then you got your two seat memory from here. Now, right up here is gonna be a blind spot information system. That's gonna light up when the car is in your blind spot, okay? Then it's gonna beep at you. And if you turn your indicator on, while our vehicle's in your blind spot too. You can turn that on or off, those settings. I have a video for that, check it out right there. Now, right over here on the power seats, you got your forward, you got your back, up, down you got a little tilt action kind of going on tilt down recline then you got your lumbar okay you got your parking brake 
You're gonna have your hood released. Let's pop that and give you a quick little visual. All right, so here we are right underneath the hood. You guys already know horsepower, torque, those kind of stats, engine and transmission. Let's point out the common courtesy stuff that you may do on your own, okay? For example, washer fluid right here. If you ever need to fill that up, pretty nice and easy blue cap, all right? Dipstick to check oil, nice bright orange. As you change it on your own, you got your oil cap right there too as well. Brake fluid is right over here. Then you got your battery connection kind of hidden right down under, all right? So there it is, plenty of space for you guys. If you guys have more advanced questions, contact your local Honda dealerships service center. They'd be glad to assist you guys from that. Now let's jump right back up front. All right, as we're jumping up front, once again, you got that chrome action. As I'm hitting the lock button, you can see where your turning indicator is gonna be at right down here in the fog light region. Let's jump right up front. It's gonna be a push button start, so make sure you have the key fob with you. It just needs to be in the car. It can be in your purse, your jacket, your pocket. Put your foot down on the brake. As you put your foot down on the brake, you'll see it light right up. And we'll get the camera a chance to focus. All right, so over here on the left-hand side, you got some buns, you got your mirror adjustments. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. So you get mirror selectors right here, left and right, the D-pad to adjust accordingly to. Now, as we're talking about this here quick, as you put your vehicle into reverse, depending on the mirror you have selected, I have the left, so in reverse, that's gonna tilt down to angle down more at the ground. If you don't like that for any particular reason, just move that to the center and it moves right back and then neither of the mirrors are gonna tilt down, okay? You have the Econ button. When Econ's on, it gives you a green leaf right up there to let you know Econ is on. Econ's gonna make you more fuel efficient, most effective for highway driving. You may see anywhere from two to four more miles to gallon, depending on how aggressive you're driving for the highway, okay? It's gonna change your gear ratio a little bit. You can sacrifice AC power and acceleration power to give you better fuel economy. So you gotta choose on those hot summer days. Which one do you wanna do? Down here below, you got your parking sensors on or off. So now off, now on. You got your road departure, your forward collision. If you ever wanna turn that off, you can. Vehicle stability assist, heated windshield element right here. That's pretty nice. Cargo lights. You can see when those are on or off by as you hit that button. Right up here, you got a little indicator. Whoop, there we go, they're on. I'm gonna turn them off. And then for that plug-in in the back, right here, we got the 400 watts. Now it's gonna be adjustable as a steering wheel. Off here, it's gonna be a telescope. So it goes in, out, up, and down. Go to adjust as you see fit, then lock it right back in place, all right? It's gonna be a leather wrap steering wheel. You have paddle, uh, paddle shifters right up here. All of your safety features are gonna be on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. You can see when they're available by the green writing right there. You've got your lane keep assist, then your adaptive cruise control right there. If you don't see the green writing, it's not on, it's not available. All you have to do is hit this main button right here. As I select it, boom, it's gone. Now it is, okay? So you at least, if you don't like it, you can turn it off. Now you have your cruise control right here. You can adjust your speeds, then you have your adaptive cruise, all right? There's this button there. So as we're getting up there, I'm selecting it now. You can change the distance between you and the car in front of you. So let's say more lines are further, less lines are gonna be closer, of course. Let's say you're going 35 miles an hour and finds a car, it'll beep, you turn that beep on or off. Then it will also display this picture of the car right up there as a visual confirmation found in the car for you guys, all right? It slows you down, maintain that distance wherever you're sitting you have. Now, if you don't like the adaptive cruise, I won't judge, you can turn it off, just click and hold. Now it's standard cruise right there, okay? As you select in that, it won't let you change the distance or anything, it's just standard cruise. Now you have your lane keep assist, is this button right here. That's hollowed out data lines right now because we're not finding lines on the road or we're not going the proper speed between 45 and 90 miles an hour. If we were, it'd be filled in white solid dotted lines, all right? So when you go out of your lane a little bit, it beeps it, you can turn that beep on or off, then it also brings you back. You can change the sensitivity as it brings you back or have that off and put it to warning only, all right? I do have 
a vehicle settings video it will show you guys how to do that within this particular trend level too as well so check it out now you got some additional stuff right here you just can navigate through on the driver's interface just a couple minor stuff you do have a direct tire pressure monitoring system so it'll let you know which tire is low a compass we're gonna have hands-free for your phone right over here on the left hand side you can pick up hang up voice command hey call crazy honda chris if i'm saved in your phone then there we go you have your heated steering wheel you can see when it's on by the little orange light right there volume controls and source for your media and music from there and then this as you select that you just have a couple things that come up on your touch screen for quick reference if you want to use those You're going to have your wipers right over here. Turn the indicator, fog lights on and off, lights to auto. Now let's talk a little bit about what's on the driver's interface, the layout of it. So you got a speedometer right up there. You got your temp engine temperature gauge right here. Gas tank. Tachometer. These lights right here, this white bar light that's around on the exterior is going to be your fuel efficiency backlight. You can turn that on or off. Is it visual coaching? It tells you pretty much it goes from white to green when you're being fuel efficient, the green to white when you're not. Right there. All right. You can see your current range. You got a bar down below right there from zero to 50. It's going to show your lifetime feed and what you're getting for your fuel economy you can adjust the brightness right here now we're going to shift focus over here on the touch screen for you folks so you got navigation it's going to be a garmin navigation you can pair with multiple phones i don't have anything paired right now information you can choose what kind of information you want to display on your touchscreen when you select that. You've got music options. So you have FM radio, AM radio, satellite radio. You get three months of that for free. After that, you have to, if you want to continue that, it's a paid subscription. You have a USB. So you don't have a CD player. You can download your stuff onto your USB. Then it's a plug and play. So pretty nice and easy. iPod. You're going to have your Pandora smartphone connection like your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's super nice and easy. Um, you just take the phone charger cord, plug it in your phone, then you plug it right down here into this. It takes like your, if you have an Apple phone, it takes Apple Maps, Android phone, Google Maps, displays everything while charging your device. It displays it right there on the test screen for you, okay? Then you have an aux. Then you have Bluetooth too as well. So you got stuff, everything but a CD player right there. You have your Honda Link. Check out HondaLink.com. We'll show you what's compatible for depending on the trim level you have. Then we already know about your embed truck audio systems. Your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will display right there for you. And then you got your settings from here. You can change a lot of stuff in here from your vehicle settings, system settings, pairing up Bluetooth. I have videos for that too. Now let's say the screen bugs you for your day or dining time driving. You can adjust the brightness of the screen. You just have this little star and moon. Go ahead and select that a couple times. They go down, it's completely off. Tap it again. So, there we go. Volume knob right here for your music. Turn it on or off. There we go. Adjustable vents. And got one right over there. Hazard lights. If you ever need these bad boys, you got them. Then you got your climate controls and stuff right down here. Driver, passenger. I hit our, our setting right here, and now I can mess with the back seat. I can turn the back seat off. I can sync it. Now everything's in my power. Fan speed, AC, on and off. Air circulation, different modes. Pretty nice and easy. Front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors, heated seats. We have a wireless phone charger. 12 volt plug in. Now, once again, your USB right there, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. 
and then we're gonna have your cup holders now you can have idle stop come standard if you don't like idle stop you can shut shut it off just click this button right here you get this orange a down there it's like a reminder hey idle stops off it won't stop for you when you get to a stop sign a, a red light through the drive-through there we go okay it just you have to hit that button every time you get into the car if you don't want it on all right so the whole point of idle stop we're being forced to do it it just give you better fuel economy and not consuming fuel as you're staying put worry about fuel emissions now let's get focused right here we have your intelligent traction management so as I'm selecting this button, you have a couple different options. You have your snow, mud, sand, and normal. It's gonna change how the car is gonna to perform to optimize your handling in those environments. So for example, let's say, boom, I turn to sand mode. It's gonna turn off your vehicle stability assist. It's gonna do everything that's powered. It's gonna change the RPMs of the vehicle, stuff like that, to give you the best handling in snow environment. All right. Now, cool thing is, let's say we put it in something different like in snow you have a little reminder down here that's in snow mode okay you get your outside temperature gauge right here 82 degrees miles is down below then you can see you're in park from there just in case if i didn't mention that a moment ago now as we're shifting gears as you guys can see it's in park right now it's red light it's a push button no ch -ch 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 action going on you can't just smack buttons either you have to apply onto the brake. So let's go ahead and apply it onto the brake, all right? Put on the brake, let's put it in reverse. You pull that button back, you have your multi-angle camera right here displayed for you. These buttons down below is gonna show you how the camera's gonna act. You have a nice 180 view, a right behind you view, then a straight down shot from your rear bumper view. It's gonna be great if you have a hitch back there and you wanna you know, connect it all. And then this button's on and off for your cross traffic mounting system. So if there's a car coming from the side, it will beep back, point out where direction it's coming from. Why not keep it on? Now as I turn the wheel, that turns to as well, changes colors to let you know your tires are not in line. We'll put it back in park. Now you have your neutral. As you see, it goes from green to red. Then we got your drive to green. And once again, it's gonna give you a visual right there. You can see it, the D right there. Then you hit it again, you got the S for sport mode, S mode, right there. Changes up the gear ratio a little bit. A quicker, quicker acceleration. All right, we're done messing with that. Nice little courtesy tray. 12 volt plug-in, USB and aux, right here. Mine and yours. Ratchets, move them up a little, they kind of catch. Glove box, is it big enough? Yes, it is. Trunk lock on and off, let's get focused, there we go. There's gonna be a lockable glove box too. Auto dimming rear view mirror. We're gonna have your garage door openers right here. We have a one touch power moonroof, opens, close, so let some air in, get some sunshine, wave at people. You're set, and then you got your power sliding window right here button. Now, it's right there. A little conversation mirror, I can keep an eye on people. Hey guys thanks again for watching my video hopefully it was very helpful to help you guys out if it was please hit that like hit that subscribe button to stay notified of more videos to come i'll put a, quite a bit of time into these videos to help you guys out all right thanks again we'll see you at the next video bye bye